According to the annual Global Retirement Index, Mexico consistently sits at the top of the list of the best countries in the world for retirement. But relocating to popular expat communities like Puerto Vallarta, Playa del Carmen, San Miguel de Allende, Ajijic, or Chapala is becoming unaffordable for many, where the cost of living can be on par with parts of the US and Canada. So in this video, we'll explore seven underrated cities and towns in Mexico that haven't been overrun by foreigners, where it's still possible to live comfortably on less than $1,500 per month, or even less if you're an intrepid traveler who's not afraid of a little adventure. So whether you're looking to retire or relocate, here's where you can still do it affordably in Mexico. And at the end of the video, I've got some resources for you that include everything you need to know about getting started with moving to Mexico so you can start your golden years stress-free. Located in the southern state of Chiapas, San Cristobal de las Casas is a picturesque colonial town known for its vibrant culture and beautiful architecture. Those seeking the coveted eternal spring climate will find it here. The town boasts a mild climate with cool temperatures throughout the year, making it a pleasant place to live if you're not interested in living on the surface of the sun. And being surrounded by the lush jungle found in Chiapas, its natural beauty is hard to ignore. The town offers a relaxed and laid-back lifestyle, with its cobblestone streets, charming plazas, cozy cafes, and a lively art scene. And if you like coffee, the state of Chiapas is one of the largest coffee exporters in the world, so you're guaranteed to have an endless supply of good java. As a very walkable city, you'll also be thrilled to know it's not very hilly compared to other popular mountain expat cities. The cost of living in San Cris is relatively low compared to more popular choices in Mexico. It's not uncommon for a single person to live off of $1,000 per month, or $1,500 per couple. There are many one-bedroom apartments that can be rented for under $400 a month, and larger options and houses in the $750 range. And what's especially appealing is that most of these affordable options are found within Centro, the popular downtown neighborhood. In most other cities, people generally have to live well outside of these areas for these prices. Going out to eat, it's easy to find full meals for five or ten dollars, and a typical find at many restaurants here is that a lot of the menu items come with extras. For example, with breakfast, your main dish might include coffee, orange juice, and a fruit plate, or for dinner, it might also include a salad and a dessert. Guanajuato is a picturesque colonial city nestled in the central highlands of Mexico. It's known for its rich history, vibrant culture, and stunning architecture. It's an appealing destination growing in popularity because it's got all the charm as the more popular San Miguel de Allende, but for half the price. If you never want to see a Senor Frogs again, you found your new home here. While it is growing in popularity as a tourism destination, it's still a lesser known spot and therefore considered a little less polished than some other favorites. But that's what makes it a hidden gem. The creative energy runs rampant throughout the streets, through the street food stands, roaming musicians, and vendors. Guanajuato is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, with a well-preserved historic center that boasts narrow stone-lined streets and magnificent Baroque-style churches. I mean, it looks like any medieval town in Europe. If you prefer history over horizons, then you'll love this medium-sized city. With an elevation at over 6,000 feet above sea level, Guanajuato enjoys a pleasant climate year-round, with cooler temperatures compared to the coastal areas. Be warned though, the streets are steep and full of stairs. So it's perfect if you like to stay active, not so much if your knees don't cooperate as much as they used to. However, Ubers and taxis are readily available and quite cheap here. Because of this, many people get by without owning a car. Guanajuato offers an affordable cost of living with many people living off of $1,500 to $2,000 per month. It gets really cheap if you choose to live outside of El Centro, but still within walking distance, where you can find studio and small apartments starting at around $300 per month. Even a four-bedroom house with a yard will still only run you about $1,000 per month. That might also even include weekly housekeeping. As far as utilities go, electricity averages around $20 per month as air conditioning is not widely needed due to its climate and gas and water will run you about $30 to $35 per month, depending on your usage. Now that we're familiar with Guanajuato and its more popular sibling, San Miguel, I want to highlight one final city in this cluster of communities located in the colonial highlands of Mexico. If you haven't already fallen in love with the sweeping landscapes of these mountainous majesties, let me introduce you to Zacatecas, the Pink Stone City. The city was crafted from the striking orange and pink-hued stone 
found in abundance from nearby quarries in this region. Walking through town evokes a magical old world feel, just like stepping back in time. The magnificence of Zacatecas is epitomized by its 18th century cathedral, a triumphant structure with an ornately carved facade that serves as a testament to the town's former opulence. This region is well known for its silver mines, and Zacatecas is one of the world's largest producers of silver. While cost of living is on par with what you'll pay in Guanajuato, you'll find more opportunities for cheaper accommodations, due to this city still being a less popular option among expats. It is located 8,000 feet above sea level, which might be difficult for some. And that means it actually gets quite cold in the winter, with the lowest temperatures hovering around 40 degrees. Not something usually associated with Mexico, but another option nonetheless if you want to hide from the heat. Mexico's Yucatan, a more well-known state, houses some surprisingly affordable and accessible options for retirement. You've likely heard of Merida, the capital city, but two hours east is Valladolid, a medium-sized city of 50,000 residents, rich in history, colonial aesthetic, colorful buildings, a vibrant art scene, and within close proximity to nature and outdoor adventure. Valladolid strikes the perfect balance between a city with modern amenities and a relaxed pace of life. With a safe environment, good shopping options, and access to modern medical care, Valladolid offers the convenience of urban living, while at the same time, it maintains a comfortable climate, a diverse culinary scene, and a rich cultural heritage, without the hustle of the coastal tourist areas. The Yucatan Peninsula has the reputation of being one of Mexico's safest regions, and getting to Valladolid is easy. You can take a direct two-hour flight from Houston into Merida, and from there, it's a two-hour drive. In the other direction, you can fly into Cancun, and it's also a two-hour drive. In the heat of the summer, temperatures can reach into the 90s, but locals cool down in the dozens of cenotes that surround Valladolid. These freshwater underground pools are accessible to the public for a small fee. Cost of living here is one of the cheapest spots with such close proximity to the US and incredible beaches. Many expats are currently living in Valladolid on social security between $1,000 and $1,500 a month. Oaxaca is a colonial city located inland in the state of Oaxaca, in the southern highlands of Mexico. It's known for its colorful buildings, rich culture, and most importantly, its delicious food scene. It's allegedly the birthplace of mole, among other delicious dishes. With a population of approximately 260,000, Oaxaca offers a vibrant and dynamic lifestyle, with all the amenities you need while still maintaining a small city feel. Many people describe Oaxaca as being its own vibe, completely unique from more traditional Mexican cities. If health and wellness is important to you, Oaxaca prides itself in its healing and its traditional and plant-based medicines. And if you're into hiking, the city is surrounded by mountains with hiking trails that can be reached within walking distance from the city center. Not to mention the city's walkability score is one of the best on this list. But your outdoor adventures don't have to stop there. With incredible natural attractions like the famous petrified waterfalls only 90 minutes away, or the coastal beach towns for an easy getaway. The subtropical climate is mild, with temperatures averaging around 80 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year, with cool mornings and cool evenings. Your money goes far here in Oaxaca, and you can live as modestly or as lavish as you want. It's possible to find a two-bedroom apartment just on the outskirts of downtown for $700, and that includes power, propane, and water. Many people here enjoy a nice, comfortable lifestyle on $1,500 to $2,000 per month. If you like the sounds of the Riviera Nayarit, but prefer to be a little closer to a big city, La Cruz de Guanacaste is quietly growing in popularity for retirees seeking a laid-back beach and recreation-oriented lifestyle. It's a smaller community of less than 3,000 residents, known for its relaxed vibe, beautiful beaches, and its marina. It's still very much a fishing village, with local fishermen who cruise up in panga boats and unload their catches of the day at the fish market. While it's a small, close-knit community, it's got all the conveniences of a big city only 30 to 45 minutes away. While it's important to support the local economy and small businesses, if you do need to visit the big box stores like Costco or Home Depot, they're only a short drive away. And the same goes for modern hospitals, where you can get appointments with specialists such as cardiologists and pay out of pocket for a reasonable fee. If you're interested in more of an active retirement, La Cruz has five golf courses within a 30-minute drive. There's several pristine beaches with shallow waters, like Playa Manzanilla, and a sizable marina for easy access to fishing. And on Sundays during the high season, La Cruz has one of the best markets in the entire bay. With the cost of living rising in nearby Puerto Vallarta, 
many people are finding more affordable rents and house and condo prices about 30 minutes from the city, and that's here in La Cruz. There are many one- and two-bedroom condos for rent between $500 and $1,200 per month. Further up the Riviera Nayarit coastline, you'll find Chicala, a hidden gem that offers many appealing features for retirement. Being a 90-minute drive from the Puerto Vallarta airport, Chicala has managed to retain its authentic Mexican charm and tranquility. Sitting at about 500 residents, with one of the nicest beaches along this stretch, it offers a peaceful and slow-paced lifestyle, away from the hustle and bustle of the larger tourist center. Chicala is surrounded by lush tropical vegetation and offers endless opportunities to enjoy the natural beauty of the area. From hiking in the nearby Sierra Madre Mountains, to bird watching, exploring the nearby estuaries and lagoons, and hot springs, there are plenty of outdoor activities to engage in. If beachside living is your ideal lifestyle, the beach in Chicala should be a draw for you. The sand is ultra soft, the water is crystal clear, and almost bathtub temperature. And because of the curve of the bay, the waves are always calm, or non-existent. While Chicala experiences warm tropical weather, it'll be nowhere near as hot as places to the south, like Oaxaca. Instead, its climate is comparable to that of Hawaii. Another benefit of living along this coastline, compared to places like Playa del Carmen or Tulum, the risk of major hurricanes is a lot lower. Chacala offers a relatively affordable cost of living compared to beach towns further south. Although inventory is lower, rentals are still relatively cheap. There are two-bedroom, two-bathroom homes available for $700 per month. While Chacala is a tranquil village, it's also conveniently located close to modern amenities. Nearby towns, such as San Pancho and Sayulita, offer a range of services including restaurants, shops, and medical facilities. With modern hospitals and American-trained doctors in both Nuevo Vallarta and Puerto Vallarta, quality medical care isn't far away. And with the new toll superhighway soon to open, it will cut your commute time to Guadalajara or Puerto Vallarta in half. Now, if you've done any research about relocating to Mexico, you've probably found it's complicated and overwhelming especially if you're unfamiliar with the culture, language, and local laws and customs. If you need any help moving to and retiring in Mexico, the best resource to help you navigate all the practical logistics is the Mexico Relocation Guide. It's got all the information you need to make informed decisions about your move. Not only does it provide step-by-step -step information about how to obtain Mexican residency, it goes into detail about other aspects of daily living, like how to buy a car, get health insurance, even tips about the best neighborhoods to live in. You'll find the link to the guide in the video description below. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments where you're planning to retire or where you would love to retire. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.